Hi everyone, today I'm going to be making snow soap. Here is the beautiful snowy scene as we received a couple of feet of snow recently and here are the beautiful snow soaps that I made. White, sparkly, and shiny just like snow. So the first thing that I'm doing is I'm weighing out 11 ounces of fresh snow. Now, I'll only be able to do this kind of soap when we have snow, so obviously it will be a limited edition type soap. So the next thing would be to add your 4.6 ounces of sodium hydroxide and mix it up. You can see that it's quickly melting as it starts to react. And snow is nature's distilled water and rain too, any precipitation. So it's definitely suitable for making soap. I am on double speed here, but you can see that it does react or melt rather quickly. I'm just stirring it through to make sure that all of the sodium hydroxide is fully dissolved in the water. It feels a little bit grainy on the bottom because the snow is a colder temperature. So just mixing it up, making sure that it's fully dissolved and set it aside, measure out your oils. I will include the recipe, the full recipe, Check the description below. The more information, check that, and you'll find everything that I've used. So for a scent, I'm using Fresh Snow Fragrance from Brambleberry. It's a very nice, ozone-y, clean type scent. And then I'm adding in a little bit of Siberian Fur Essential Oil for a nice northern snow scent. Siberian Fur comes from Russia, and that's where this essential oil originated, so it has a very northern scent. But you could also use Douglas fir or Grand fir or any other type of uh, fir needle would go nicely. I'm also adding mango butter that you saw for, for a second back there, and this is titanium dioxide, and this is diamond dust mica. So the titanium dioxide is going to give my soap a white color, and it tends to clump, and that's why I'm mixing it before I start combining the snow, lye, and oils together. I'm mixing the colorants first. The diamond dust mica will give it a shimmery sheen and I'm also adding in clay. This is white china clay. It's also called kaolin clay. And one thing I noticed in this snowstorm and in others in the past is that when the snow comes down you really can smell the earthiness coming from the ground. The same thing with rain but in snow it's just a slightly different. So I definitely wanted to add clay for that earth element. And now I'm getting ready to mix everything together. In addition to the earth element, the clay makes a great addition to soap. It's wonderful for the lather and your skin as well. So now I'm mixing it all together, creating soap. Since my oils are pre-colored, it's a little bit harder to tell exactly where I am with the soap making, so you'll see I'm using a spoon to check the texture and to see if my soap has come to trace yet. So you'll see me periodically with the spoon just testing the thickness and texture of the soap. Now I'm adding my melted mango butter. I used one ounce of mango butter in this recipe. And here's my scent blend, this fresh snow fragrance that you can buy at Brambleberry and Siberian Fur Essential Oil, which you can get from a lot of essential oil suppliers. Mine happens to come from Camden Gray from, a, from an order I placed with them. And here are my soap molds. These are silicone soap molds. The green one is a Wilton brand, and the blue one, the blue ones I got from the Kitchen Collection store, and I will see if I can find them online. If I can, I'll post links. I'm doing the sample size ones first, and I usually do them last, but 
I'm planning on giving quite a few of these as gifts. So I wanted to be sure that I had all of the actual snowflake ones filled. The other flower ones are six sided, so they really look like they could be a snowflake, but they don't have the exact snowflake shape, so I'm going to fill them last. And those ones, the flower ones, will be for sale. And this soap is uh, partially organic. I haven't figured out the exact ratio yet, but I'm going to guess maybe about half. I used uh, coconut oil, almond oil, sunflower, canola, palm kernel, and castor in this recipe. And um, rest assured that my canola is an organic oil because, um, you know, I just want to make sure since make sure to tell you that verbally so that you know because most canola is a genetically modified crop and I do not use any genetically modified oils at all even you know if I purchase the non-organic ones I make sure they're at least non-gmo but this is organic canola okay so here I'm filling the molds just getting the last little bit in there it sure did turn out really white that's a nice color white I know that you can't tell on the camera, but when you look at it closely, you can see the um, the mica, and you can see I've also glittered it, which I didn't show on camera, but it is glittered. And I actually had a power outage right after I made this soap, so it did not go through a full gel, and it's going to need a little bit extra curing time. But this whole past week we've been dealing with more time without power than with and we still don't have all of our utilities restored now we don't have gas but we have power so it's been it's been kind of we've been roughing it with this snowstorm we we got between one and three feet of snow depending on you know where you were at and I, I did see pl some places here on my farm that were completely covered in that much snow and we did take extensive damage to the chicken coop areas, but luckily none of the homes were damaged and none of the people were hurt. So that's the most important thing. And also none of the animals were hurt either. We actually did lose one bird right before the storm due to an, um, a power outage and they got too, it was the ba one of the babies got too cold and that's unfortunate, but it, it's just part of the farm life and that's how it goes. We lost one of the one of the younger phoenix birds. So here are the little snowflake ones. Because they didn't gel, they're proving to be very difficult for me to get out. So you can see that I kind of stretch to release the sides first and then I try and get the soap out. And they didn't come out perfect, but so is the nature of handmade soap. <laughs> so thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed my snow soap video. Bye!